There are 50 different species of mangrove trees around the world in tropical and subtropical zones. Three species, the red, black, and white, are found in the southern half of Florida. Because they can survive in salt water and other trees cannot, they have little competition along the coastline and are able to thrive there. They're also very important you know, to the estuarine food chain. Uh, the mangrove leaves as they fall from, from the trees are, are broken down into finer and finer pieces and they're colonized by bacteria as well as microscopic plant and animal life. Detritus that leaves the creeks and goes out into the harbor feeds the crabs, invertebrates and the fish and even the wading birds. The prop roots and the snorkel roots provide safe refuge for a lot of small fish and crabs to escape predators. Mature mangroves provide optimum habitat for nesting colonies of colonial nesting birds, the herons, the egrets, and pelicans. These coastal trees are the first barriers against storm winds coming on shore. The mangroves buffer the surge of water, and as the surge recedes, the roots hold the shoreline soil in place, preventing erosion. They filter storm water runoff. That water contains pollutants such as sewage and fertilizers as it naturally flows from land towards the sensitive estuarine environment. In intercepting uh, stormwater runoff, the mangroves are very important in attenuating some of the impacts from that and keeping it from, from entering directly to the harbor without any filtration or sediment removal. In the 1980s, scientists began to realize the importance of mangroves when estuaries began to degrade due to the removal of mangroves for development. To remove or trim the trees, the landowner must get a permit from the Florida Department of Environmental Protection. If you'd like to learn more about Florida's mangroves, contact the Charlotte Harbor National Estuary Program at www.charlotteharbornep.org.